Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Jonathan Rollins. I'm back with another reaction. To, nah, that's how I normally start. But yeah, it's time for a little Tuesday night hang. Sorry I missed you guys last week. Uh, I'll explain everything. Just waiting on some people to come in. Let me know what you're drinking. Tonight with me, my beverage is Vatten. Yes. One thing I really like about Sweden is the water. Really good water. I'm not even pandering. I really like the water here. Uh, I think the, you guys are doing something right about that. So, go kväll, Jus Maria. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Suzanne. Suzanne's telling everyone hello. What a nice person Suzanne is. Um, damn, we already got a reaction request. Okay. I think I have a Povil uh, Rommel on the list, actually. Um, Maya Shanti, hello. Hello. ABC me Anna Book, nästa. Also, jaha, jag tycker nog att det är dags för lite Nordmanien, förslagsvis The Sister Du Ser. Wow, that sounds like a threat. The Sister Du Ser. Papa! Then you're dead. Det är bara grejer det. Det är bra grejer. Hi, Stigane Jönsson. Uh, Åse, a regular here. Hello, Åse. Uh, Bruno Johnson wants me to do a cardigans. Uh, I've heard a lot of cardigans um, because they're very popular in the States. So uh, I don't know what song would be a classic that I haven't heard. So we'll see about that. Hello, Yeeho. 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 How would I say that? <laughs> Yeeho. Hello, Fire and Seed. Welcome, welcome. Um, uh, I wasn't here last week, also, so don't worry. Um, if you, if uh, you didn't miss anything, <laughs> uh, Vsis, what's up? A good Norland's Gould Stika now. Okay, I I drove tonight, so I can't even uh I can't even indulge with you. Uh, someone wrote this comment to me too. That uh, ABC beer from the same Melody Festival and good memory there. Uh, because that's a long ass time ago. Lindemann's Chardonnay, Vit Lord Vien, a box of wine. If you know anything about Dave Chappelle, he said that's uh one thing. Uh, he talks about that in the stand up, a box of wine. Uh, funny stuff. Ah, uh, where we at? Where we at? Okay, people still trickling in. Oh, wow. What a compliment I got. Dit arkiv samtal avsnitt är nog min favorit av alla avsnitt hittills. Riktigt bra. It's the first time I've ever done. I've done a lot of podcasts since I've been here. It's the first one that I've done in Swedish. So if you want to hear me pod in Swedish, check out Arkiv Samtal. It's Simon Jadenfors podcast. And we talk about uh, American food culture and mostly like black American food culture. So uh, I consider myself kind of an expert on the topic. So it was fun. I was really, uh, <laughs> Yus Maria is drinking soft. <laughs> I was really uh, nervous about speaking Swedish the entire time. Uh, but it worked out, man. I, I kind of stuck with Swedish the whole time. I got to flex my Swedish muscles. Hello, Alehopa Ferestin from Rikard. He's saying hello to everybody. All right. I'll wait a couple more minutes, then we can get started. Um, drink a little bit of my delicious water. But as I said, uh, the water here is really good, man. I'm in Miami. Even, like, here's an example of how nasty the water is. My aunt buys bottles of water to make ice. <laughs> That's how nasty the water is out there. Uh, but it's uh, it's not unhealthy water. It's just they put too much shit in it. All right. Oh, wow. Somebody found me through Archive some title. Wow. Uh, thanks, Daniel. I'm glad you found me, man. Now we homies. You and me, baby. Let's take the world on. Oscar Aladdin the videos. Perfect in the whole name, my longer, longer off snit. Thanks. Uh, I try, man. Bruno loves Archive Samtal. 
uh, I like uh, Simon. Is uh, that's my guy, man? He's a really creative guy. I like uh, most of the stuff he does. Yeah, uh, Max, I'm I'm kind of busy these days, but I'm gonna do this, man. I'm gonna write down. Uh, I'm gonna make a tier. I like that. Make a tier list with uh, songs I've heard already and reacted to. Cause I, I also kind of want to do a, um, my least favorite songs. <laughs> some people complain about my positive energy, but I just happen to like the music I hear. But uh, there are some songs I ain't really digging, so maybe I'll do a uh, <laughs> the shit list. <laughs> um, I like your English. My English teacher is from Ohio. My English is I I would say that my accent is like Floridian. I am from Florida. But um, when I speak in something like this, I speak in kind of a non-regional dialect. I think my accent was kind of beat out of me when I went into the military. <laughs> I was an air traffic controller, so I had to lose my southern drawl and kind of slur, Miami slur. But when I get home, my wife stops understanding what I'm saying because I start talking to my friend and my family. I'm like, man, what's going on, man? You going over there? I'm going over there too, man. Like that. I start talking like that. Uh, Cotton Eye Joe. I think I did a Cotton Eye Joe. Didn't I do a Cotton Eye Joe already? By the, uh, like somebody got mad at me? No, that's a different song. No. Um, I know Cotton Eye Joe, though. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Okay. Uh, well, let's get started, man. We got a few people here. Thanks to everyone who's hanging out Tuesday Night Hang. Sorry about last week. I had, um, our kids are back in school, and as you know, any parents, all the kids are sick, all the teachers are sick, so last week, I was basically home with my son all week, and this week, I'm kind of home with my daughter, so I snuck away tonight because I felt like I didn't want to leave you guys for another week, so it's it's been a little tough, and then uh, it's the fall, so the clubs are back, I'm back working, got some good news today. For those of you that like, uh, you know, I don't know, I guess it's a positive note about the Sweden's handling of the COVID situation that they're going to open things up a bit more later this month. I think it's the 29th of September. So I'm really happy about that as a club owner uh, and people could feel more safe um, coming out. And, you know, since so many people are vaccinated and whatnot. So keeping my fingers crossed that this trend continues and we can have fully safe Comedy shows, man. Really missed it. Uh, and I'm glad I'm back. Um, yes. Uh, yes. I'm glad you brought that up, Peter. I hope I can meet you, man. Um, if you got, I'm, I, I'm not doing that uh, empty gesture thing when I say come to a show and say what's up. I want you guys to really say hi to me. I don't mind. It might be awkward. Whatever. So what if it's awkward for two minutes? Then we'll get over it and then we've uh, found a bond and we can bond over the awkwardness. So uh, make sure you guys do say hello if you see me. What do you think of Burt Kreischer? I don't know if he's Floridian, but I think he's funny. Mm, have you seen Astrid Lindgren and Barn Filmer? I have not seen that many. My my son liked Pippi Longstrom, as you guys say, um, when he was a little younger. 929 Full House. I think you talk about the show, Sparch Color Sunday. That was fun, man. We had a show at the Laugh House called Sparch Color Sunday, um, and it was a great time. All right, uh, but I got some stuff I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I just started a, a, a website, man, and I'm really glad about it, and it's called uh, BashDadEntertainment.com. My son's name's Bash. I'm his dad. Bash Dad Entertainment is like an ode to my son. But, yeah, all of my stuff's there if you don't want to see my dates and stuff, uh, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, uh, a friend of mine made it, and uh, it was Carter, actually, Solenberry, a comedian. She made it, and um, I'm really proud of it. So you can check that out. I got my shows on there. I'll be in Mashta on September 17th. I'll be in Aspuden on September 22nd. At the, uh, the Mashta show is free. So if you're up there, come through. Uh, Williams Pub in Knivsta. The tickets are all on the, on my site. Um, Folkets Hoos Elm Hook. I'll be down three days in a row. I'll be down south. Folkets Hoos Elm Hook. Humor Falangen Lund and stand up at Shuk Elva in Vecre on October twelfth, thirteenth, and fourteenth. So check that out if you want to see me perform. 
I promise you guys, I'm a pretty funny guy. So uh, all of that stuff's at bashdadentertainment.com. And then my club is Laugh House. All our dates at laughhouse.se. Uh, I was really proud of a show we had where we only put minority Swedes on stage. It's called Swatch Cala Sundays. And we do it once a month. And um, I think that's what Pietro was talking about. Uh, Angla Hund. What are we talking about? I missed some of the chat. Baladin om Konsequenser. Sounds like a good song. <laughs> I like the title. Bond, bond over awkwardness. <laughs> so I'm Tyler from <laughs> Uh I don't mind that, man. I, sometimes people come up and then I can I can feel that they're a little uncertain or awkward or whatever. Whatever, man. It's all good. We'll make the best of it. Anyway, uh, so that's what's going on with my, my website. Um, I'm at the SoundCloud here. I mean, the Sound Lounge. SoundCloud. <laughs> I'm at the Sound Lounge here. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys are in the Stockholm area and want to record something or make something, but if you're interested, let me know. I can, we can, I got a space here to do stuff. Um, I have the Svenska Classica Reaction Playlist. If you want to hear the songs I've done, I was looking at, I've done over a hundred reactions, y'all. This is getting big, big, man. Uh, I put what on my list? I'm sorry, Orsa, I don't see, I'm, I'm behind. <laughs> are you hyped for the ABBA comeback? Not really. I think ABBA's good, though. Helicopters. Are we talking about helicopters? I'm in the band, mid the helicopters. They spell it like that? Helicopters? Hella? <laughs> I'm in the band, helicopters. I guess it must be on my list. I think that's what she's talking about. Oh, Hasse Anderson, Angla Hum. That's what she's talking about. That is on the list. I see it right here. Uh, I see it right here. It is on the list. Um, I don't know anything about that, but yeah. I've done over 100 reactions. Um, it's almost time for me to start getting my songs together. I want to get with like a producer or something, but I did not forget that I'm going to be making a song, and I think it's going to be... Uh, I haven't found that song, uh, Summer, Summer Sagan, but... I want to, if I do find it, I want to listen to it. I haven't looked for it either, but I want to make sure that that they're not trying to do what I'm trying to do because I think Summer Song it might be my type of song. Um, Shanghai Ballerina. Thank you, Maria. Gratis to 100 reactions. Uh, I'm going to keep going too, man. You, you guys have some good music here. I really appreciate it. So this has been fun for me. I feel like I've been learning. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really liking this. Uh, in a bit, we'll review some of my last reactions that I did, the last three, and then we'll preview the next three. Well, I'll preview the next two, and then you guys can pick the third reaction that I'll do right here, live. I only pick two of uh, the next ones. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, teddy bears, I've gotten that before. But you can't just tell me the artist. You got to tell me what song. Because we got to remember, I don't know shit. <laughs> Sorry for my language, YouTube. <laughs> uh, Shanghai. Hmm. Okay. I guess that might be a classic group. We'll see. Should I put Shanghai Ballerina on the list? I have the list here. Let me know, guys. Should I do that? Bark on Minnesota Glass Ergon. I think that might be on the list. I've heard of that. Unless somebody wrote it to me already. I don't see it here, but I'm sure. Uh, I can tell you guys what's on here right now. I got Englemark, Fatig Bond Dreng, En Doggy Sender, Den Stora Dagen, Come Give Me Love. I guess that's an English song. Dina Ferrier Var Blå. Vem kan man lita på? Var ska vi sova i natt? Kaffe och en cigarett? Apocalypse? Call it do, call it you, come it I. That's the arc. And this song is still stuck in my head, man. Every other day I'm in there walking around. Uh, Lika Gotten, Broken Promised Land, She's a Freak. Uh, Engla Hund. 
Mitt bästa för dig, Stockholms kyss, när jag kysser i havet. Blå container, svensk hjärtan, jagade vargar. Uh, buller i bock, stjärna på himmelen. Ta av dig skorna, ängela. Vem får nu se alla tårar? Piccadilly Circus, uh, Lasty, like the dog, and the ruler from. Those are the, what I got on the list here. Oh, and Genghis Khan by Vikingana. I think that was in on the dance band list. I need to get to that too. So that's some of the stuff, man. Let me know if you guys think that sounds good. Uh, decent dud. Well, it's supposed to be mixed, right? Anything by Vinebeck will be hilarious. Is that a good thing? <laughs> Uh, Lars Wienerbeck. I, I've heard, I've done two songs by him so far. Um, I don't know. I'm not the, the, you know, I like voices. You guys know I like uh, good voices, and his voice isn't the best for me. Hey, yo, I'd love to see your pretty face again, mate. Loved your show at the Laugh House a few weeks back. Everyone should go and check it out. I paid Sony to say this, and thank you, Sony. <laughs> no, thanks for coming to the show. Uh, we try to make it fun, and I'm glad you had a good time. And I agree, everybody should come and check the shows out. <laughs> the Hives, Tick, Tick, Boom, The Hives? Is that a Swedish group? Tick, Tick, Boom. Is that a classic? I don't know. All right. Uh, well, let's get to it. The latest reactions. Next week, I want to say that I will uh, give my top 20 bangers, let you guys know where, we're, where I'm at with that. And... Um, Maybe sneak in a couple songs I do not like at all. <laughs> I feel like a jerk about it, but whatever. It is what it is. Some songs I don't like. <laughs> so stay tuned for that next week. Uh, the last songs I've done, I did Stan or Stanley. Yog Vivaradi, Margareta. I have reacted to this. And then I told my um, wife that I reacted to it because she doesn't watch my videos. I guess she feels like she gets enough of me at home. So no support. But anyway, I said it. And then she just started singing the whole song in the kitchen. Just started jamming. Y'all be already Margarita. And she said it's a big song in their family. It, it reminded her when she was a kid. I thought it was pretty cool. It made sense. Um, it was cool to hear a classic dance band song. Um, I'm glad I got to hear it, uh, and uh, it was very catchy and very fun, and uh, yeah, I, I like it. So that was that. Um, the next song I did was by uh, Susan Alfengren and Mikael Rikfors, Som Stormen River Öppet Hav, and I really liked her voice. I was surprised that she didn't have like more hits, man. I was looking through, she made a lot of music, but none of them really broke through besides this uh, duet. I like that he kind of pulled back a bit, toned down the rock, and brought uh, and brought the that sultry sound to match hers. So that was good. And uh, the last one I did was Barahima and Sirpoa by Eric God. And not to, uh, I don't know, if I were him, I would make an album called Oh My God. <laughs> Cause I really like that song, man. That shit reminded me. I, it was an instant classic for me on this channel. Uh, I like the Prince inspiration. I like the uh, uh in the background throughout the whole song. That was pretty funny. And uh, it was so R&B that it felt nostalgic for me. It felt like I was going back in time listening to music that I used to listen to as a kid. And I ain't even grow up here. So that was really, really cool. And I'm going to probably have that in my top 20 songs. That was just a fun one to listen to. So that's the latest reactions. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, it was honest, all the reactions that I did. Uh, so, yeah, that was the latest reactions I did. I hope you guys liked them. Uh, Svenska Björn Stammen. I got to do another one of their songs. I don't know if this is a classic. Let me know if Svalkar Vinden is a classic because I want to know if they kept going with the really good music. Um... Somebody wrote, uh, hate to say I told you, oh, told you so. Huh. 
Okay. Hola met Peter Khan. What did he say? Told. Okay. So the hives hate to say I told you so. Should I add that? Eric Godhans for see a plot see me after. Mine too. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> I'm sensing a new top three. Uh, maybe. Maybe. But I've heard some really good music, man. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> some Storm and C River Epith Hall used to be my go-to song when I was really drunk. Wow. Was that with like karaoke? Is that a karaoke jam? You know what? We started karaoke at the Laugh House, and I, I don't have that many Swedish songs on there because I don't know what Swedish songs are karaoke. Can you guys tell me some classic karaoke songs? I need to uh, to put to add some songs to the database because all uh, the karaoke system had was like English songs and ABBA, of course, stuff like that. So I don't know what's a classic karaoke song, man. I know Star to Use, of course, but I don't know anything else. Santé, leave it. Hubba hubba zoot zoot. I think that's somebody's requested that before. It sounds familiar. Hubba hubba zoot zoot. But yeah, let me know with some classic uh, <laughs> Swedish karaoke songs. Maybe I could have a karaoke night one night and just come in here and, and sing some karaoke for y'all. <laughs> I can sing some Y'all Vivana Ding, Margareta. <laughs> Robert Broberry. I don't know, man. I don't know when uh I don't know who Robert Broberry is. Sounds like the Brother Mountain. I like karaoke song uh, classics. Classics guy. So long you folk are to say stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Rika. <laughs> Money Brothers, nice. Okay. Uh Money Brother. That sounds like a rap group. Yelena T the Billy. Sont et leave it, a bra for slog. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. Roger Pontere, Navinda Viscamitnam. I did this song. Unfortunately, P3 didn't know what to do with it. And, uh, and they never put it out. So I can't react to that. I have to explain that to people a lot because a lot of people request that. But I have reacted to it, and it'll be false of me to react again to that song that I've heard. Um, I like the, the boom, boom, boom. I like the like the big drums in it, and I remember the. Uh, it was a. Uh, I think I questioned if it was appropriation or not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure because they were talking about the uh, influence from uh, other cultures in that song. So uh, yeah, oh, okay, that's a karaoke song. Okay, that makes sense. Buddy on from Buddy on Sven Ingvars. That must be a. Okay. All right. Enrique de Coulartis, a TTO. I keep hearing about TTO. Come along, special, okay, Enrique de Smash, Smash Hit. Come along. I got to check the lyrics on that. That's what I've been doing for the ones I think I might have heard that are big songs in English. Uh, because I almost did the uh, Save Tonight. Uh, and then I, I, I grabbed the lyrics to to start doing the research and everything. And then I was like, oh, I know this song <laughs> when I looked at the lyrics. So, yeah, that was a very big song when I was a kid. Okay, I did for a future Tuesday Night Hang. You should react to Henrik, Henrik Dorsen's tribute parody of Vrizvik and Gaffel Court. But to fully get it, you need to watch some live performances of Cornelius first. You give me a lot of work, uh, Creho. Jeez. But I might do that. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Abba has new, two new songs. Maybe I'll do that. I could do that hit live. That's something I could do here. React to an Abba song. Like, we could listen to it together, live reaction. I'm down for that. You guys pick one of the Abba songs, and uh, I could react to it live. Next uh, next week. That could be fun. So let me know the name of the song, and then I'll have it ready next week. TTO. I said TTO, right? All right. Um, I want to go into the uh, next 
the next reactions that I'll be doing, and you guys know, um, you guys know the first one. Uh, we mentioned it already. Anna Book, ABC. Uh, I actually just listened to it. It's coming out tomorrow. I just listened to it. I just have to edit it, and I'll put it out. And uh, what do you guys think? Will I think it's a banger? Is ABC a banger? What do you think? Discover President. Discover Felicity. Don't shut me down. Don't shut me down. Is that going to be it? Uh oh. Looks like Don't Shut Me Down is going to be the, the, the one. I think I might have to do that. That's going to be my request to uh, YouTube once I do the reaction. Please don't shut me down. <laughs> All right. I got to get some information on Abba and that song. Uh, ABC is a classic because it's so silly, not a banger, according to Suzanne. I really trust you, Suzanne. So we'll see what I thought. ABC, an Indian banger, says Hugo. Christine Seth says, nay. Bora, nay. <laughs> uh, men and earworm okay fire and fire and seed says uh, bara into bra and dog into and bra and dog i don't know what you were trying to write men and earworm okay uh oh abc it's a banger according to maya uh we'll see it's not abc it's just sweet okay mm hmm and the next song after ABC is going to be Sven Rubens and Gamal Amazon. ABC is a classic, not a banger. Is and Gamal Am Amazon a banger? A banger. Is it a banger? What do you guys think? Will I think this is a banger? ABC is a real banger in the streets. <laughs> Uh, is it a class? I mean, I I think, Yeho, I think uh, it's a classic. No matter what we say, if it's a banger or not, it is a classic. From what I saw about it, when I read the Kanshi Dags for the Sabaton again, I don't know, man. I don't know if they are have classic songs like that. I think it, the we'll see. I would need to get more requests for Sabaton. Gamal Amazon is a full is a fun song. Does that mean it's a classic? I mean not classic. Does that mean it's a banger? <laughs> uh, Miles Banger puts in there, man. Classic all the fall. Yes, do that. Look through your parents' old albums. Let me know. Miles Banger puts in hide. Yay and Gamal Amazon. I don't know what you'll think. Stay tuned. Friday morning you'll know what I think. A semi banger. Hmm, that might be a new category. That might be a new uh, uh, classification. We got a semi banger here. <laughs> Not a banger, but you will move to it. That's happened. I've moved to songs that were not bangers. Uh, okay. ABC, not a banger, but a classic. That's what I'm, I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that. A few people have said that. But those are the next ones. Now I need you all to. Tell me, what's the next, after, after, after the Sven and Rubin's song and Got My Mama's On, uh, what song should I do? It's up to y'all, man. I'm going to sit here and let you do the work for me. But I need a real, okay, you know what I want to, I'm going to say what I want to hear. I would like to hear an upbeat song from... The 1970s. Upbeat for the 1970s. Go. What you got? Upbeat 1970s. What song should I react to? Was that too tough? 70s or 80s. I'll take 70s or 80s. Upbeat. I want to I wanna have a little bit of... It doesn't have to be uh, like dance, but something upbeat. 
Björn Schiffs hål i mitt hjärta. One of the biggest Swedish hits ever. Guldet blev till sand. When did that come out? Damn, somebody had that on there. Just ready. That came out in... It says released in 99? I did Harpo, movie star already. <laughs> Do oblivion the sword out there. Come on now. Vim for new see a la torar. Is that a song? When is that from? Okay. Vilmer X. It says released in 1991. Okay. Anders Glemma Honhar Blomor is it for? <laughs> I like Rickard. <laughs> Alla rökte på och var sega. 80-talet. Folk hittade amfetamin och agerade därefter. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, Sony is too young. Did somebody say something? For, is, this, is this too tough? Okay, Anders Glenmark. Uh, Hon har blommor i sitt hår. Definitely upbeat from the 80s. Hmm. Is it 1990? I mean, can I? Uh, Orup, Akkar and Vistran, Stanna Hos Day. Do it with saxophone. And upbeat. Uh oh. What do you guys think? Is it gonna be Orup? Oh, somebody said Creho had a bra for slog. This is kind of hard to do. Gulded Blev to Sun, Peter Yerbeck. Let's see. But it says that came out in 2000 or something like that. Ninety-five. That's ninety-five. Sorry, we can't do that one. Glenmark will be great. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have asked like this because it's a lot of uh <laughs> I don't know what to pick now. Okay. Eighty eight old up or caught him V strand. That might be the one, man. What do you guys think? Should I do that one? Are we gonna do old up? It's my guy. That's my guy right there. <laughs> sure, I'm thinking gear or ear from yes. <laughs> I think I might. I, I can't do ABBA, David. I, I probably know all the ABBA songs. Sorry, man. It's really popular. I like disco too. So probably heard all of their hits. Uh, eighty-eight Orup. I think it's gonna be Orup. Let me know. I think I'm going to do it. Okay. Orup it is. Orup or Karin V. Strand. Okay. Orup or Karin. What's it called? Stand the host day. All right, that's what it's gonna be. Stand the host day by Orup and Carter Vistran. It's gonna be. It's gonna open the week next week. Next Monday, it's gonna be it. All right. Thank you guys for your suggestions, and uh, thanks for all your support so far, man. I really appreciate it. All right. That was fun. I want to do that next time. Maybe I'll try to find a way. To uh, make it a more, uh, I wish there was a poll or something. I'll see if I can find a poll or something like that to make it more of a democratic process. Because this moves kind of fast. So my apologies if uh, it's not that uh, entertaining. Du borde göra guldet blev till sign on gone. Okay, I'm going to add, a, a few people said that. So what I'll do is I'll add that to the list. Guldet 
live to sand by who sings it? Golden and Blood to Sun? I think it was your back, right? I don't know. I'll just write it. Go to Blood to Sun. I'll find it. You should react to the movie, film and gear in its entirety or to a couple of songs from the movie. I think if I did something like that, I'd have to do it privately. Like, <laughs> I, I don't feel like I could do that on YouTube. <laughs> so maybe, uh, maybe if I do like a Patreon or something, I could do something like that. I'm really considering that. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. You're back. You're back. I mean, um, thank you guys. I got it. Peter, you're back. You're back. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Frida, I know there's something going on. You like the English songs, Matthias. I see you liked it. Written by Bjorn and Benny. Okay. A cover of Good Vibrations. I remember that. That's the jam. Well, we've reached that time in the show when uh, I stopped talking about reaction and I started getting real. No. <laughs> when I, uh, this is the, I can't find it. Oh, here it is. The Ask Me Anything portion of the show uh, before we wind down and end for the evening. Um, so go ahead guys, shoot. Oh, the musical Du Must Have Fiennes. I haven't seen that yet. I would like to check that out. Um, so if you guys got any questions, shoot, and I'll be as honest as I can. Um, as long as I'm not like embarrassing my wife or something, but I don't mind embarrassing myself as some of you may know. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know if you got any questions. Hello, by uh, Lionel Richie. Mentimeter. Is that here on this program? I got to say Mentimeter. I'm going to write that down. I'll see if I can use that with this uh, uh, Ecamm Live uh, program I have here. I'll look into that. Oh, you know what? I have another question. Maybe you guys can help me with this. I have this idea uh for uh, I want to start this podcast where I learn about Swedish history but and uh me and another like comedian will uh dive into Swedish history but I need like somebody to give me different Swedish stories so if you guys know anybody interested in something like that have them contact me honestly I'll um I'm trying to figure something out so I can learn about Swedish history with somebody who's completely unqualified to go through it with me. Uh, I have that person, but I just need the stories and the research. So if you guys know somebody that's really interested in history and wants to do something like that with me, let me know. It'd be cool to get the, get a, a connection through somebody on here. So let, let me know about that, guys. Um, sorry to, to plug my shit again. Have you done any shows on Viking Line? No. I would love to do a cruise show. Man, I would that's I'm, that's a great question, man. I was uh trying to I was trying to figure it out. Uh how to do that. So, no, I haven't. Uh what's your favorite kind of meat? I like a really good steak. Um uh I like a good steak, but I also like Does fish count? I like I like good fish too. I'm a surf and turf kind of guy, <laughs> but man, but like lamb is really good too. Grilled lamb. Yeah. Favorite Swedish comedian. I think I said this, uh, I get asked this all the time, but I think the best is Thanos Fotas. Um, and he might be one of my favorites to watch too. I could watch him do the same joke and it's still amazing. Uh, but I think he's the best, maybe not favorite, but he's the best. Um, I really like watching Carl Stanley and Petrina Solange is amazing. I like watching her too. So that's uh, some of my faves. Uh, the only time I really 
speak Swedish. You got to remember, I met my wife before I knew Swedish, and she only spoke English to me. And even when I learned Swedish, it was like she didn't understand because I was learning through her grandma, so she didn't understand how good my Swedish was for a while. Now she speaks Swedish because we have kids. She speaks only Swedish to them. I speak only English to them and only to her, too. I don't know. So if I'm reading something in Swedish, I read it. I'll read that in Swedish. That's when I speak Swedish. Um, or if my son's friends are over or my daughter's friends, if they have other kids that don't understand English, then I speak Swedish. But if they have friends that speak English, then I speak English. So that's when I speak Swedish at home. Uh, hey, who I'm going to do is Friday. I met my wife when I was in Turkey. Uh, I was stationed there. I was in the Air Force. And then um, we fell in love and stuff. <laughs> and we lived in the States for six years together. And then it was time to have kids. And uh, it was time for a new chapter in my life. So I was like, let's take start that chapter in Sweden. And that's how I got here. Do you like Swedish hockey? No, not really. My wife's family is big into your Gordon, so if they're watching it, I'll root for them. Uh, but I don't really watch much hockey. I'm I'm a really I'm, I really like sports though. So if it's on and somebody's into it, I'll sit there and watch it with them and like root for the team. I I grasp the game. But um, if nobody's watching it, then I just stick to like my American football and basketball and stuff. Who can have song on the details? Do a get a poor. Skulle du vilja höra tolkat av någon annan? Till exempel Brother Daniel Shoreline har tolkat av. Hmm. Yeah, because Shoreline, I thought, I didn't really like the way they did that. Um, the, I didn't really, that was one of the songs I was like, mm. I thought the lyrics were kind of whack. I would like somebody to fucking rewrite that song. <laughs> uh, hmm. I think that's a really tough question. I'd like to hear, like, I know he passed away, but I'd like to hear, like, Pierre Isakson sing some of these more modern songs with that deep voice. I'd love to hear him sing some, uh, you know, uh, what's her name? Zetterlund, Monica Zetterlund. That might be cool. Har ditt barn några frågor efter att ha suttit med i Alco Studio? No, they normally have the headphones on and have a tablet and stuff when I'm on there with them. So they haven't, uh, they haven't really paid attention. When's the last time you fought in a bar fight and where? The weekend I met my wife is the last time. Actually, I got into kind of a little thing here, but uh, I didn't really fight. I didn't throw any punches, so I don't consider that a fight. The last time I got into a fight fight was in Turkey. They tried these uh, locals were like they were it was like pissy the whole weekend. But the weekend I met my wife, they tried to throw one of my. Uh, Air Force guys off of the top of a double-decker bus. And then that's the last time I hit somebody with my hands. And, uh, yeah, we beat up some people that night. <laughs> but that was a crazy... It's weird. It's weird because it's not good to fight, but it's something about fighting with your boys. It's just kind of like a camaraderie thing that is... Uh, you get a little adrenaline kick, you know? <laughs> but that's the last time. I was in Turkey. I was scared as hell afterwards because we had to get the fuck out of there because I've heard about the Turkish prisons and uh, the military would leave your ass in there too. They'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, man. Can't help you. So glad that we got off uh, without any craziness. Mm, do you have any favorite colors? I like royal blue. It's a really nice color. Um, Johannes Brenning, yes, I got in a fight with him, knocked him the fuck out. Uh, <laughs> that's my boy, man. We uh, we work together with a lot. Oops, got to the end of videos, Mike. Uh huh. Thank you, thank you so much. You should talk to my girlfriend. She's an archaeologist and pretty knows everything about Swedish history. Daniel, hit me up, man. Hit me up on something, uh, Instagram or something like that. Uh, Jonathan underscore Rollins on Instagram or hit me up on Facebook or something. Let's talk, man. I really like to uh, to get in touch. Hey, Daniel, I'm trying to talk to your girlfriend. All right. Gulded blev till sen. Albin Olsen hade en Patreon exclusive part resten en historia med Martin E. Oh yeah, I heard a little bit. I remember they did have a history part. This is a different type of thing. You'll see what I'm talking about on my thing. Um, cool. 
Nice, yes. I'll be there Thursday on Arm Komora. Katrina is the best. I agree. Uh, her and she's the best. Her and Thanos are the best too. I love history, but unfortunately, I don't think I have time for that. As I'm gonna start studying again. Well, well, thanks for nothing, Tudor. <laughs> thanks for telling me. <laughs> um. Yeah, we eat fish in Florida. Going fishing is some of my favorite memories in Florida. What did you do on um, Sean Locke? I don't know Sean Locke. Is that the one who passed away? I don't know Sean Locke. F uh, favorite, I'm guessing it's supposed to be fast food in Miami. <sighs> favorite fast food in Miami. I'm going to go with Wendy's, man. Wendy's, I think the fries at... Arby's is the best, but the uh, Arby's burgers are different because it's the roast beef and the cheddar. That's really good. But Wendy's burgers, I, I think that's the best. And they have the Frosties. So uh, I got to go with the Frosties and the Wendy's. You dip in the French fry and the Frosty? What? <laughs> what? I should do a reaction on that. I wanted you guys to go there and eat it and then do a reaction on that. Um... Best fast food in Sweden. Come on, y'all. You know what y'all. I know what y'all gonna want to say. Y'all gonna say Max. I like Max a lot because they have. Uh, I like to eat a um, good vegan burger when I can, and Max has the best vegan burger. So, Max. Yeah, Max does it right, and they do their fries right. It's different, man. Their fries uh kick ass too. So, best fast food is Max. It's not. You guys need more variety though. You need like a Sonic, here. Sonic, a Chick-fil-A, even though I don't like their, uh, you know, politics and stuff, they have an owner who's wildly religious and homophobic, so that's why. But their the food is so goddamn good, man. <laughs> so Chick-fil-A is great in the U.S. too, but that's not really in Miami. Uh, Blint for Sturman, you're Gordon. Sorry, man. I'm a, I'm a loyalist too. Uh, I'll be the city. And, uh oh, they're talking shit. I think that's it for the three best best Svenska artists in Bergen and he tells uh, I don't know that's tough man let me get back to you next week on that I don't want to say the wrong thing but I really like Monica Zetelun I really like Cornelis and um, I'm scared to say Svenska Björn Stammer because I've only heard one song but I really really love the song oh and uh, what's, what's their names the other group um, with the guy and the, it's another group and they had my favorite song. I can't even remember right now. I got to go back over that later. Wendy's is OTK. Okay. Max is crap if you go for the meat. Um, yeah, I could see that. Uh, but I do like the vegan. They got the best vegan burgers. All right. Uh, I'll check out Sean Locke because uh, I like to find out new comedy stuff. So I think we're going to wrap this thing up, man. Um, <laughs> would you invite Anton Magnuson to your show and advertise or is he canceled up in Stockholm <laughs> you guys uh, must not know me <laughs> I don't cancel anybody <laughs> if I think you're funny you're going to be on and we have a show coming to the Laugh House called the Malma Takeover and Anton Magnuson uh, Petrina Solange um, Johan Finlason and uh, who else is on that show? It's all people coming up from Alma. So uh, Anton Magnuson will be performing at my club. I don't cancel anybody. And I think he's always been nice to me every time I've seen him. So shout out to Anton Magnuson. I'm not canceling anybody. I don't believe in cancellation anyway. If people still uh, come to the show, then you're not canceled. Uh, you asked earlier, Stalker Vindum. Okay. Okay, cool. Good. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Yes. Thank you, Yeho. I'm going to get out of here. I get it. Malama rocks. I'm going to be down there as soon as I can, man. Um, but I'll be down south next month. Thank you guys so much for coming to this. I'll be back next week. I appreciate all the love and support. And um, say what's up if you see me out there, man. I don't bite hard, as Austin Powell says. Take care, man. See y'all next classic. Peace.